good, mate. How are you? Not bad. Good. So Harley plays on Neighbours. He plays as Joshua Wills. Willis. Willis. That's fine. Joshua Willis. <laughs> the first question is, what do you love about acting? I love that it gives you the freedom to, to feel, to, to experience your emotions in a safe environment because out in the, the big bad world, the, a, lot of, a lot of the time society will, will tell you that being emotional or for, especially for a guy, emotion, emotions or crying is weak, which it's not. It's not weak at all. And, and if you do feel like that, regardless, out in, out in the open, when you're in an environment like uh, an acting studio or uh, shooting a scene, you have freedom of freedom to feel, and it's just a really nice release. So yeah, that's very interesting. Mm. That's very interesting. Uh -huh. So, um, and the next question is, what have you learned from acting school? That there is a whole lot more to every person than they would realise in the beginning. And the reasons why we do things, the reasons why we are the way we are, the way we react to certain situations, there's a much deeper level for the reason why we, why we behave in a certain way. And um, what, what have you learnt from being on the set? There's lots and lots and lots, particularly um, at Neighbours, it's, it's a really nice environment to, to have learned in. Not so much the, the acting craft itself that I've learnt in there, it's more the technical side, so if I was to come into you, um, this, was the, this is our shot, I'd have to sit down and make sure that I was in line with the camera so your head isn't blocking me out and I'm also not blocking you out and that we've got appropriate light um, so that we're not shading each other, which I can't even do here because the lighting's so good. Um, so yeah, a lot of technical, a lot of, a lot of technical things that I've learned on set. Yeah. Who would you most like to work with, and why? I would like to work with the most probably Daniel Day Lewis uh, and Benedict Cumberbatch, Leonardo DiCaprio. All and the reason behind that is that when I watch them, I have a real resonance with the way that they act, and and I can see that they're really they're speaking truth and so I really admire that and, and when someone can do that and, and be and not just be telling the truth but also be so skillful at acting with their voice, their actions, everything was, is just perfect to a T. I, I would really like to, to learn from someone like that. What type of advice would you give to the kids that audition for Neighbours? For Neighbours or auditioning just in general? Or, uh, I'd say maybe a bit of both. A bit of both, yeah, so just in general. Oh, okay, so auditioning for Neighbours and auditioning for anything else isn't really any different. So when I first started, I should say, I, I would be going for, you know, 30 auditions and getting one, getting one job. So you've got to have a really, you've got to have a thick skin and you've got to be persistent and just know that just because you don't get the one job that you go for doesn't mean that, that you're not a good actor or that, um, that you should give up because there's a number of reasons to why you, you might not get a role. It could be your eye colour. You, like, you, you know, they want, might want a brown eyed guy when I can't really help them in that way, can I? Uh, you know, you're too short, too tall, anything. So as long as you just keep persisting, it'll pay off and make sure that, that you do study there's also an, a craft to, to auditioning, so you've got to learn that craft to make sure you get that down to a T, and then go from there. Yeah, but always persist, never give up. Well, that's very, that's very good advice. How does a director and an actor work together to make a great, a great performance? Well, you have to be, have your vision of what the performance is in sync with each other, so it, the, the actor's got to be, it's all right. The actor's got to be open to compromise and be flexible in, in, in their in their performance. So if, if they've prepared something uh, in a certain way, it can be fine, it can be great. But the director said, no, no, it needs to be a little bit more this way because they might have a clearer vision of of the whole picture. Director has to be a good communicator, 
and the the actor has to be has to be open enough to be communicated with. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so both have to work together to create the same ultimate goal. That's pretty good. Yep. So, um, what would be your best tip for young actors starting out? Make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. You don't want to jump into acting because it's a glamorous lifestyle or for money. Because it's not, as I said before, you know, you, you audition 30 times, 30, 40 times to, to one success. You know, 30, 40 fails to one success. So it can, if you're not in it for the right reasons, you're not passionate about acting, it can really have an effect on your self-esteem. Uh, even if you do have a passion for acting, it, it can have a, an effect on your self-esteem. So do, do it for the right reasons. Make sure that it's your passion of yours. You should always do what you love anyway because you become a master of anything and the money will follow. So don't worry about money. And the second thing is make sure you study. Make sure you study. You could be have all the natural talent in the world, but uh, you come up against someone who isn't as naturally talented as you but has worked their butt off at acting school and you're going to lose out to them. You're going to make sure that you're always bettering yourself. Yeah. And what are your expectations for the future? This is probably another tip. I don't know whether it's a tip, but this is just the way I work and it, it leaves me with a very low level of anxiety, is just to take every day as it comes. You know, you don't, don't plan too far ahead. You can have aspirations and goals, like, you know, you, you may want to work with Daniel Day-Lewis or Benedict Cumberbatch, but as long as you've got that in the back of your mind, you just keep persisting each day and taking day by day, moment by moment, which is, which is essential for actors anyway, you'll inevitably get to your goal anyway. Don't, don't preempt the future too much. Is your job always glamorous? Because <coughs> you're a neighbour, it's a pretty good show. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Yeah? It's, no, it's not, it's not always glamorous. I, I can't really say what, what glamorous is. I suppose an awards night is glamorous, but really you're going there to work. And especially if you're going there and you're giving all of your emotional self in a scene, nothing glamorous about that. <laughs> you, know, you, you walk out of there and you're wrecked and you look like crap. Crap, can I say that? You know, uh, so no, the answer is no. It's definitely not glamorous all the time, but it's good fun, you know. Walking away, I, I enjoy walking away and feeling like crap because that's what I enjoy doing, you know? Yeah, no, not always. What has been your favourite acting moment so far? Favourite acting moment so far? Well, actually, probably an audition I did. I was given an, an older version of a script. I went in there, prepared it, and it was a scene that sort of started nowhere and ended nowhere, and I uh, just went, oh, okay, well, I'll just do what they have given me, and it couldn't, I couldn't really do much to it. So I went in there and performed it, and they said, oh, you haven't got the right script, and I went, okay, uh, okay, let's, well, you know, what do you want to do? So, well, can you stick around, and, and we'll give you the new script, we'll give you 15 minutes to go and prepare it, and then come back and do it. And they said, Oh, the other thing is too, it's a little bit emotionally demanding. He's got a burst in the tears at the end of it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, sure. Let's go do it. So I went and prepared it and I was looking at this. Now my character, the, the reason he was crying was because uh, a marketing company didn't want to take on his idea for a bum head towel. There's half a towel said head, the other half said bum so that you knew which part to dry yourself with. Now, like, I don't know whether you would care so much about that, but I didn't care at all about a bum head towel. So to be so emotional about something like that, it, uh, it didn't make sense. So I had to use, I, and in acting school, you learn all these methods and all these little tools. You have a little toolkit, and uh, I found out that because I had the toolkit, I looked at the script and went, oh, I can use this tool for this. So I decided to substitute that whole scene for another, for another reality. What I did was I, I 
wrote it, substituted so that I was, instead of walking into an, uh, into an office for the bum head towel, I was walking into, a, into a, a doctor's office where my younger brother, he had, I put it in, in my script that my younger brother had leukemia. I just had to go full on into it. Leukemia, I was going in really hopeful that you know everything was going well. And then the doctor tells me, you're gonna have to go say goodbye. And you could imagine, because you got a little brother, mm. how that would feel. Yeah, that would And so, cool. when he was saying these lines to me, I was listening to him, but I was also having the undertone of, you have to say, go say goodbye to your little brother because he's not gonna live. And so that, <laughs> and it worked. And so that was like, ah, oh, good moment. Okay, awesome. I, I mean, I wasn't feeling, oh, good straight away. I went in my car and cried my eyes out, but I realized how that method worked. And so that was, that's my favorite acting moment so far. Well, I'd imagine that that would be pretty sad. Yeah, yeah. And that's the other thing too. Another tip is when you delve into your emotions in, in that way, you've, the best thing about acting school is they teach you a method to come out of that emotion. And so you're not holding on to it and just holding it there and, and, and letting it bring you down constantly. You just go and just release it, let go. So always go to acting school. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the normal week on Neighbours? What does a normal week consist of? Uh, what, what do I go through in a normal week? Yeah. So we have, we have rehearsals. Now at Neighbours, we shoot six episodes of Neighbours a week. So we actually don't have time to do any performance rehearsals. So it's all technical, making sure we're in the right position for all the, for all the cameras. And we only have those for our studio scenes. Now when we get to location, which is outside the studio, we do the, the outdoor stuff. We don't have any rehearsals, so we just have to learn our stuff and, and get out there. Now the difference between, between studio and location is that location we have about an hour, like just over an hour to complete a whole scene. In studio we have about 35 minutes around about. So in studio we're just bang, 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 getting it out, getting it out, churning it out. Now, location, I, I, have, I haven't got any experience in film, but location apparently is a lot more like film. So, you know, you could, on a film you could shoot three minutes of, of footage in a day where we shoot, I don't know, what would, what would we shoot if we do, how many scenes we do during the day? I think it's like 15 to 20 in studio and they could go for you know a minute and a half each. So we're shooting that much in a day. So 15 to 20 times a minute and a half to two minutes, it's a whole lot more footage than, than three minutes. At work we have drama sessions, which is really, really helpful. So we have here yeah, with two drama coaches. And yeah, so pretty much we, we roll around from studio to location to rehearsals just on a Monday. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it all works there. Do you like shoot in different places or in the same place? Yeah, so we, at, at Neighbours, we shoot, uh, we've got a, a whole, I don't know how many acres it is, but a massive lot that we've got a studio and all our outdoor sets in the same lot. The only time that we ever go outside of that lot is to go to Ramsey Street, which is only four minutes away, not even four minutes away. So we're, we're pretty much in the same spot all the time. Other shows, I know they, they move around a fair bit. They could be traveling uh, 45 minutes to get to one location, which we used to do a, a while ago apparently, but, but not anymore. That was a great um, interview and did... thank you. Thank you, thanks for having me buddy. You're a very good interviewer. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>